Welcome back to another fall episode of Saturday Set Review. Today we are going to take a look at Lego Scooby-Doo set number 75903, Haunted Lighthouse. This set contains 437 pieces. It was released in the year 2015. The original retail price was $49.99. You can find it on eBay right now for $160 for a used set, $200 and above for an unopened set. And over on Amazon, it was $219 and above for a new in-the-box unopened set. This set contains four minifigures, so let's take a look. Here is the star of the show, Scooby-Doo. And you'll notice that he is sitting down, just like he did in set number 75901, The Mystery Plane Adventures, which I'm guessing is the same exact body, just with a different head. The one on the left comes with our set here. The one on the right comes from The Mystery Plane Adventures. You can see that he has the plane goggles on his face. So pretty much the same body in the sitting position, just with a different head. Scooby-Doo's right-hand side and left-hand side just have his iconic spots. But you notice on his left-hand side, he has the same scary grin as the Scooby-Doo from set number 75902, The Mystery Machine, that we reviewed last week. And the backside just shows the tail in that beautiful blue collar that I love. I have mentioned this before, but I love how they put that SD in there for Scooby-Doo on his collar that you can clearly see and still had enough room to put a gold frame around it. Moving on from the star of the show, let us take a look at his best friend Shaggy. Now Shaggy's being pulled by the boat, so he has two blue water skis. He is holding his big cheeseburger, same type of cheeseburger that was used in set 75900, Mummy Museum Mystery. He has the same face as other Shaggy's and other sets, double printed on both sides. But his torso is going to be a little different in this set since he is water skiing. You can see that he is wearing his iconic green shirt, but that he must have stumbled into some seaweed and a starfish. He has his brown or maroon pants. His right side and left side hold no special detailing. Love it when they do this. The back side has a little bit of detail on it. There's also some seaweed on his back, plus the creases in his shirt. I said that he has two printed faces. This is his happy face. And this be his sad face. And he has light brown hair. Let's move on to the third mystery solver that comes with this set, Miss Daphne. You can see that she is wearing her iconic clothes with a purple skirt, purple sweater, and the green scarf that is tucked out of the sweater in the front, with her classic orange hair and purple ribbon. Only a little bit of detailing along the sides and the bottom on her back, her right, and left sides hold no special detailing. She also comes with a head with two printed faces. This is her scared face, and this is her happy face. You can see that she is holding that brown ore there because in one of the pictures on the catalog it had her holding the ore. And to be honest, it was more to make sure that I didn't forget to include the ore in the set when I put it away. And Daphne and the gang are trying to use their sleuth skills to try to capture one of these two villains that are coming up next. Now let's take a look at the sea creature. I do believe they use this same type of a body in the sea creature from the Monster series. His body is all dark green along with his helmet. He is carrying a gold trident. His hands are purple along with his chest with that detailing in his chest to make him look like a sea creature. He does have a double printed head. We'll take a look at it here in just a minute. His backside does hold a little bit of detailing with what looks like to be his sea creature skin. His left and right sides hold no special detailing except for the outlining of that beautiful fin on the top of his head. Like I said, he does have two printed on faces. This is his monster face. And this is his human face when they do the unmasking. I love the fact that he has that eyeglass piece on his right eye, but for now he will remain a monster in servitude of this next character. This is our lighthouse keeper. There are a couple cool features that come with this character. You can see he has a white face. It's actually a glow in the dark face with those evil eyes and evil grin. He's carrying a gold key. He does have some detailing on his chest with a rope wrapping around his chest and some buttons for the jacket. He has that beautiful gray beard headpiece. His backside has a little bit of extra detail in it with the creases in his jacket and the rope belt. And just look how that gray mane covers the whole back of his head there. It's beautiful. His left and right sides hold no special detailing. Most of the detailing is going to be in the front. But right now, let's take a look at that head. And he does have a glow-in-the-dark head, which we will show you shortly. And turn his head around and he is unmasked to be a, a woman. I didn't know it until I built the set. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. But another really cool feature is that this head and hands glow in the dark. Let's go ahead and test it out. Actually, I'm wrong. It is just his head that glows in the dark. 
But isn't that cool? Look at that little head just glowing in the dark there. Bravo, Lego, bravo. That makes him a unique figure to this set. Now that we've seen all the minifigures, let's take a look at everything else that comes with this set. This is a box that just kind of randomly sits off to the side of the set, but I love when Lego throws in some extra stuff. Inside the box are two green swimming fins and a gray oxygen tank. Next up, we have the mystery boat. I absolutely just love these colors, these greens, orange, blue, the orange that they had in Daphne's hair really match the colors from the original cartoon. They have some stickers on the side, the front, all around the boat, just like they do on the mystery machine van. You can see the big gray engine in the back, the steering wheel there in the front with the windshield. The front just has the flower sticker with the blue piece and the rest of it being green. Pretty much the same type of detailing on the left-hand side of the ship, or the port side, I believe. Since we're using boating terminology, let's go ahead and take a look at the stern, the back of the ship here. You can see that the rope is hanging off it, with the handle there for Shaggy to grab onto as he's being pulled on the water skis, or whichever character you want to be pulling on the water skis. It also has that little black spinning rudder in the back. And we're back to the starboard side of the boat. All in all, with the beautiful blue and green colors and the stickers, this makes for one great little boat. Now let's take a look at the main attraction, the lighthouse. I love this piece right here. Reminds me of something you'd see off the coast of Maine. I've never been off the coast of Maine. I'm talking about what I've seen in pictures, of course. On the front right bottom, you will notice the skull here. It is almost the exact same replica of the skull from one of the pirate-themed sets that we've already taken a look at over the summer. But instead of being lifted straight up from the bottom up, this one actually opens to the right. There's a lever in the back we'll be showing you. Pull the lever up, and inside the cave is the hidden treasure. I love that they continue the blue plating here for the water, and then the treasure box is actually sitting up on a piece of dirt or brown-colored Lego piece. They have the full skull's head, just like they do from the pirate theme sets, with that gold tooth. I love when they have that gold tooth as one of his main front teeth. Locking the treasure away, you can see that there is a lighthouse at the top. Now moving over to the bottom left, you can see that there's a little light post there at the dock, and right below that light post are these wooden boards. Now these are stickers you have to put on the wooden boards. They are not printed on. But once you remove these wood planks, you can see that there's a map hidden underneath there. And the makers at LEGO never disappoint when they're making their maps. I absolutely love this one. You can see the dotted trail there where you're supposed to go over to the lighthouse. And on the island with the lighthouse, you can see that they even included the skull that's movable. X marks the spot. They have a little compass on there with north, south, east, and west. With a little note taped to the map that says X marks the spot. Now I'm going to put the map back in there. The first level would be the dock right here. It has three levels of play in the tower. You have the front door right here, the jailhouse door right here, and then the lighthouse up on top. Very cool sticker piece right here, the keep out sign. The back side is where the fun is at. I absolutely love the way they designed this. So let's first take a look over here on the left-hand side. This is the turning wheel right here that opens up the front to the skull cave. The water plate is running through right here, and there you have your hidden treasure. We'll take a look inside that in just a minute. Right outside the hidden treasure cave is a torch hidden on the wall to help you light the way. And right next to that on the bottom is a hidden tunnel. I absolutely love that. That is so cool. There is no exit out of that tunnel. Just makes for a nice little play area or hiding space. To the left there, you can see a white stove. It comes with two burners. Right now, the frying pan is covering one of the burners. And right behind that is the front door. This floor here is being used as a jail cell. It has a jail cell front door. The back wall is a big white cobweb with a black spider. Flip that cobweb up and take a look inside and you can see that there are some markings on the wall. Somebody has been marking the amount of days that they've been stuck inside there. Looks like a total of 12 days. Pull the cobweb with the spider back down and we move on up to the top floor here, the lighthouse. Look at these beautiful windows that it has on the lighthouse. They do not turn. On the right hand side of the lighthouse, they have the window up on top with the hole in it. It is the only window at the top of the lighthouse with the hole in it. Now, of course, there's not an actual hole there. That's just a sticker that you put on the window. And not much detailing on the left side of the lighthouse, except for that plant hanging off the side there. But another neat little feature that comes with this lighthouse is once you lift up the top of the lighthouse, there's a nice little hideaway space for them to hide their treasures. Right now, there's a bone inside there. Close it back down, and no one is the wiser. Now, let's see what's inside that treasure box. Once you open the treasure box, you can see that it has three items inside of it. A green gem, a red gem, and a silver chalice. Lock them all back up in the treasure chest and hide it inside the hidden cave with a rock formation that looks like a skull. Now, before we get to our final review and last looks, let's take a look at the instruction booklet and the parts page. We have three pages to look at here, so go ahead and pause when you need to. Be sure to write down the part number and how many of the parts that you will need. 
Please remember that not all parts are guaranteed to be in stock and some of them may have been discontinued. You can go to lego.com, type in the set number 75903 and it'll give you more information. And now for the review, I'm gonna give this a five out of five dollar signs for your money. How could I not? This is a beautiful set. It comes with that glow in the dark lighthouse keeper, the swamp creature, Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, and a beautiful, well-colored Daphne. Not to mention that little mystery machine boat is absolutely fantastic. So to recap, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. This is set number 75903, Haunted Lighthouse. It comes with 437 pieces. It was released in the year 2015. The original retail price was $49.99. You can find it on eBay right now for $160 and above for a used set, $200 and above for a new set. And on Amazon, I found it for $219 and above. And it comes with these beautiful five minifigures. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for joining us. Next week is our last Scooby-Doo set, so be sure to tune in. But for now, thanks for watching. You are greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. And remember, never stop tripping.